Now look at this. Now this is starting to look like a party. Yes, it's all about the attention to details. Ha. Well, I think we got all the details taken care of. No, we knew there a whole lot of people. So when is uh, Steve showing up? Uh, he's not. He's in surgery tonight. Oh, gosh, how can people get sick on New Year's Eve? It's so rude. <laughs> Tell me about it. But you know what? We're gonna meet up later. No big deal. How about you? When is that big handsome man of yours showing up? Man. <laughs> You're a trusty bodyguard, and I am not talking about Max. Sean and I are not together. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I kind of thought it seemed like... No, no, he just worked for me. That's it. I'm on my own. Okay. I'm not that it's any of my business or anything, but... You know, I think if this is about Jax and moving on, I think he'd understand. Me there? No, I just don't want you to be alone. It's kind of hard to celebrate when you lost somebody. I know. I know you miss Abby. Don't you miss Jax? Well, you know, maybe we can make each other feel better. Come, come hang out with family. I'll be there. I think it's going to be a very memorable night. to Los Angeles with connecting service to Port Charles. Your departure time has been delayed one hour. Michael. Hey, I, uh... Look, I heard about Abby. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You want to talk about it? People die. There's nothing you can do about it. <sighs> Unless there is. What do you mean by that? Michael, Abby's gone, and it's not nothing because you sound like you want revenge. It's... Abby was killed in a construction accident. How could I get revenge? You tried to get her away from this guy who's been attacking these dancers. Yeah, I did a great job protecting her, didn't I? But Michael, blaming him and going after him, that, that's not going to bring Abby back. You don't think I know that? We're working on the case, okay? We're going to find him. Is that a, a wedding man? Uh, yeah, Lulu and I got married on uh, Christmas Eve, just a little, little ceremony. That's great. That's great. I'm uh, I'm glad you two made it work. Look, Michael, I'm really sorry. Don't, don't be. Look, it's fine. Uh, look, here's to a happy, successful marriage. Till death do you part. Oh, did you know good uncle make a dinner reservation? Happy New Year to you too, Tracy. No, I haven't heard from Luke, but there is a table in the corner reserved under your name. Hmm. Hello, gorgeous. I knew you'd accept my invitation. Your invitation? You were expecting someone else? So the diamond arrived What can I say? I'm an incurable romantic. No. Forget it. What the hell are you doing here? Well, Happy New Year! Have you seen our daughter's most beautiful wedding ring? Wow, that is so beautiful. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. If you need anything, you know. Dante and I are fine, thanks. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get us some drinks. Give a lady a diamond you expect, at the very least, that she's not going to run away from you. How many times do I have to say no before it sticks? Well, it's not a matter of repetition. I just don't believe you mean it. When this elevator reaches the lobby, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to drive home, and I do not want you to follow me. What was that? Fate. How did you do that? How did you make it stop? I'm just standing here admiring the scenery. 
Help! Somebody! We're trapped in the elevator! There's a loud party going on upstairs, Tracy. I'm thinking I'm the only one who's gonna hear you screaming. Could you get away from me, please? Could you move back into that corner? Whatever Go! Whatever you want, doll. Obviously, eventually, they're gonna realize that we're stuck in the elevator. Well, that's okay. By then, I'll have gotten exactly what I came for. Hey, you know, Carly, I was thinking, now that Jazzy and Lulu are married, it's like the three of us are all kind of quasi-related, like uh, cousins-in-law or something like that. I can't wait for that barbecue. Oh, excuse me. Careful. My husband's a cop. No, it's okay. We just won't tell him. I was afraid you weren't going to make it here by midnight. Are you kidding me? There's only thing better than ending the year with my scorching hot wife is starting a new one with her. Mm. God, I'm so glad you made it. Yeah. I didn't want you to be alone on New Year's Eve. Maybe I can't imagine what you're going through. No, you can't. Excuse me, everybody. Can I get your attention? Everybody? I, uh... I want to start this night off by proposing a toast to your uh, wonderful hostess this evening and my mother, Carly. I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what last name you're going with nowadays. It's still Jax, right? Just bear with me, Mom. So this night is a tribute to my mother. A woman, many accomplishments, but yet still she puts her family first. A glowing example of knowing what you want and getting it, no matter who got in her way. And isn't this an amazing place? I mean, come on. Well, let's hear it for Carly. Come on. Let's hear it for Carly. Come on. It's, 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 a, it's a shame that her partner in this establishment can't be here. My stepfather, Jax. We, uh... We miss him very much, don't we, Mom? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. It was such a terrible tragedy when Jax's plane went down, plunged into the harbor. I mean, nobody could have survived a crash like that. I mean, it didn't really help us. The grieving process, considering Jax's body was never found, isn't that right, Mom? What are you doing? It's a toast. Michael, let's go. No, 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 I'm still talking to Mom. Jax is dead, right? He's dead. Because dead is dead, there's no coming back from that. Why don't you ask Abby? Oh, that's right, no, you can't, you can't ask Abby. Why don't you ask me? Maybe this was too soon for you. Well, well, why don't you answer the question? It's a simple question. Why don't you tell all these people what you've been saying for months? That Jax is dead. Only, only you can't say that, can you? Because he's not. Jax is alive, and you knew it the whole time. Just admit it, Mom. You knew Jax was alive this whole time. All right, Michael, why don't I take you home? No, I'm not going anywhere. You answer the question, Carly. Is Jax alive? I saw him at an airport. My mom wants me to think it was just my imagination. That grieving over Abby was messing with my head. Baby, can we just go home and talk about this? The home, please? home, the home that, that, that you lived in with Jax, the home that he built for you? How could, how could you lie to us, Mom? Forget me, how could you lie to Morgan? You know how much he loves Jax. And Jocelyn growing up without her dad? Answer him, Carly. I thought I was doing the right thing for my kids. Answer the question, Carly. Is Jax dead or alive? I don't know. I don't know. I can't be sure. Well, you sounded pretty sure when you were Sean, Mom. Don't you dare stand there, Carly, and lie to our son. If you know Jax is alive, say something! You know what? I've had no contact from Jax. I have not heard from Jax. But two weeks after the crash, our yacht, the silent lady, was missing. Well, did you report it to the police? No, I uh, told the harbor master that I saw it. And one more lie. If Jax was alive and he took the silent lady, I couldn't let Sonny find out. 
Oh, so, so somehow it's my fault. No, I, yeah. You know why? Because I wasn't going to let you finish the job. And if Jax wanted to disappear, who the hell was I to stop him? So this is the proof you have. You, you, a stolen boat and a sighting in an okay, airport. There's been some activity in his foreign bank accounts. And his mother never called. She would have reached out to Jocelyn if Jax were dead. So you believe he's alive? Yes. Yes? And you're just telling us about this right now? You just thought it was okay for us to go on believing he was dead? That's not why she did it, Alexis. She did it so I would take the damn blame. Daddy's eyes, white sweetheart. 